32 year old woman collapsed with extreme shortness of breath and chest pain. Heart rate 140, respirations 34, BP 90 over 60. Took 100% O2 to keep her stats over 90. Where's Reynolds? Did anyone see what happened? I'm her father. We were at a fundraiser. Josette was accepting an award. Then she just shook and fell. We didn't know what to do. What you got? Paul, oh, systolic blowing murmur at the apex. What took you so long? Well, I have the department chair now. I've got stuff to do. Like what? As soon as I figure that out, I'll let you know. You're right. Acute mitral regurgitation. Trauma one. Get a central line, kid. Lisa, prepare me a levo drip. Titrate systolic at 90. On the count of three. One, one two, two, three. One of the valves that controls the flow of blood through Josette's heart is broken. And blood is backing up into her lungs, which is why she can't breathe. But how could this happen? Josette is strong. She's an aid worker for the people of Haiti. I have to get to Jacques This week, a mudslide hit our village. So many people have died. That might explain what happened. You think of Taka Subo syndrome? Yeah. yeah. That sounds bad. Another name for it is a uh, broken heart syndrome. The mudslide may have caused Josette so much grief that it actually made her heart beat so hard that it tore the muscles that hold it together. I hate to feel helpless. I'm sorry. Well, the good news is I can fix a broken heart. Now we're going to get you prepped for surgery and get you home as fast as we can. First, may we perform a God call. I'm sorry, a what? It's a protection ritual. We make a cut in the skin, rub in herbs. Oh, no, that's that's out of the question. Any cuts to the skin can introduce infection, so. God, cool, it touches a lot to me. Protects me from accidents. Okay, look, Josette, there won't be any accidents, all right? Well, if you excuse me, I have to prep for surgery. Mm -hmm. She's ready to go. All right, wow. Expeditions to the North Pole traveled ladder, huh? Fib. No pulse. Fib for later. 200 joules. All clear? Okay, got her back. Back off the lever fed. That should stabilize her. You good? Yeah. I don't have a pulse. Go 300. All clear? Okay, I got her back. What the hell? She's too unstable for transport. Maybe you should do the ritual. This pacing wire should get her stable long enough to get her to the OR. Or you could do the ritual. If I believed in rituals, I would have become a shaman, not a surgeon. You're about to fix our heart valve. If I were you, I'd take all the help I could get. You know, if a patient feels like they've got to chant or knock on wood or get a prayer warrior to lay hands on them before I operate, then that means they don't trust me. You know, and I have faith in my abilities. Normal pace rhythm with capture. See? Pace of wires, all the faith I need. <gasps> o2 sats are falling. She's taking. Pulse lock's dropping. Josette, I'm going to sit you up so you can breathe. Ready? Ready to innovate. I hear Rawls. Edema? Saturation's are down. Backing up in her lungs because of that valve. Grab the chest. They're tossing me the ferrosa, I'm already on it. Pulmonary compromise. Monitoring. You know, that's gonna take a while to dry out our lungs. Well, I can't operate until I get this under control. So then maybe yeah. you do the ritual. Don't. That's correct. Don't even say it. All right. Normalizing. Standing by. Administering now. Okay, look, uh, the ritual isn't even about you or what you believe or your abilities. It's about her. It's about what she believes, what she needs. I mean, why can't you just give her that?
Let's get to the door. Let's go slow. The ritual. I'm glad it helped. I'm pretty sure it was the levofed, the pacing wire, and the furosemide that helped. How many times did you uh, scrub each finger? What? How many times? Ten. Hmm. Why not nine or uh, eleven? Superstition? Routine. What was that thing you were just reciting? Invictus. Oh. Do you always recite Invictus while scrubbing in? I do. Mm. Kind of like a prayer. <clears throat> Have it. Ritual. Loosen up, Dr. Reynolds. Not everything's going to go according to your plan. For everyone. Dr. John, how am I doing on my suction? Capillary leak only. Good. Okay. Thank you. Give me a tool of polyester on a stick. Suture. There we go. Step. I should hold nicely. That's the goal. Okay, go ahead and restore blood flow to the bypass machine through the heart. Valve open. Unclamping the aorta. Now. Hmm. Suture's holding. Blood flow should stimulate the heart to start beating on its own. Vicky, deep I'm not seeing anything on monitors. Got it. Oh. Okay, well, let's give it a little help. Okay, here we go. Charge at 20. Charging. Clear. Clear. No visible beat. Let's do it again. Clear. Don't know heartbeat. Uh, at least stronger. Intracardiac high dose epi. Give me 10 mils and a syringe. Dr. Reynolds. I need it now, people. 10 mil cardiac needle. Where does she stand with gas exchange? Refusing adequately. Charge of 20. Charging. Clear. All right, pedals in place. How long do we keep this Pedals in place. Nurse, loose. Charge of 20. Charging. Clear. Clear. Still nothing. Dr. Reynolds, do we call it? What are you doing? I'm trying cardiac massage. That's not going to work. All I need is one beat. Just one. Dr. Reynolds. Dr. Reynolds. Hold on. I, I think I feel something. I feel something. She's back. You did it. Is she respirating in 